Hi, blessings everyone. This is Yanni, the only luckologist. I just want to do this quick video before my dog starts to act up. Um, this video is about a healthy suggestion for how to start locks because I see a lot of people, they're ready to start. I'm inspiring them or somebody else inspired them and they're like, Yanni, how do you start locks? Disclaimer and warning, I do not start locks ever. I don't like it. I don't do it. Please, after you see this video, do not call or text me. But well, definitely don't text, but don't call and ask me, could you start my locks? I do not start locks. I also do not do children's here. You have to be a certain age, all right? And if you do start your locks, you don't start your locks and then come to me. You got to wait a full year and like add an extra month or two onto that. This young man, mother is actually my client. She asked me when we first met and he did it and no, I'm doing this here. Now, again, this is a healthy way to start locks. It's just my suggestion. The other disclaimer is if you started locks like with corn coil and it worked for you, like fine. And like I always say, if my videos is not for everybody. If what I'm saying applies to you or it help you, kudos. If it's not, just move on, please. You don't need to comment like, I sat in my locks this way and it worked for me. That's good, it did. All right. So it's about, um, everybody know I'm Trinidadian, 101% Trini to the bone. When we were growing up, I grew up in a Rastafarian culture. We don't start locks with cone coil twist, right? In fact, we didn't call it cone coil, we used to call it corkscrew. And that wasn't to start locks, that was a quick, people my age, people remember this. That was a quick thing it did with Vaseline because it was poor. And gel wasn't around back in my time. That's how old I am. Right? And your mother just took a little, your, your little sister baby comb, they twist, and you went out to your little picnic, your cookouts, whatever. All right? It wasn't used to start locks because you knew it wasn't permanent. If you want to start locks, my suggestion to you is to do two strand twists or box braids for the ladies. There's no ugly stage. It is going to look raggedy for a while, but you know locks doesn't stay like that. Once your hair grows, it is going to lock up, right? Now, the reason why I did not, I do not start with comb coil. Well, I don't suggest comb coil because I don't start locks. When this brother came, I already did half his hair. Let me see if I can get one for you. Hold on one second, guys. Ah, here we go with one right here. Right. When he came, this is why. You see that big gap? You see it in the video, right? It's showing properly that his mother is holding the camera for me. Jimmy stepped out. Right. When you do two, when you do comb coil, you, you have to use something to hold it. So your lactician, your hair provider, your sister, whoever is using the gels and all of that. That's really not locking your hair. And if it not that it's not, it just takes longer to lock. And then you hear people, and I know somebody will attest to this, you're afraid to get your hair wet in summertime. You don't want to go in the pool. You don't want to go in the beach. You don't want to do anything with water. You're running when the, <laughs> the first drop of water fall from the sky, right? That's why when you do two strand, two strand doesn't need anything to hold Right? Just like box braids. You all remember that. We, in Trinidad, we call it plaits. You all call it box braids. You plait your hair and you go about your business. And in time, because luck takes time, in time your hair locked up. So when he came and I showed his mother, I just stuck my finger through it. And in the back, it was worse. Right? In the back, he had like maybe this much luck and the rest was unlocked. And his hair has been a year and a month. So it actually has not been locking, or should I say it's been locking at a very slow pace. Another thing that is done when you comb coil is that a comb is used, and that is the complete opposite you want. Combs, just think of what a comb or a brush does for normal hair. It detangles, and what is locks? Locks is tangled up here. So you're working against what you're trying to do. So every time he went back to whoever he was getting his hair done, whatever little bit that locked up slowly, the person took the comb, let me show you what I mean. Uh, okay, pretend this, because I don't even have a comb in my place. Pretend the back of this is those little baby combs. They grab the gel. I did a video on this a while back. They, put, they have the gel in their hand. They take it. They go down. They twist and they pull. Those three things is just crazy and it's horrible for your hair. You won't notice it now, but in time you're going to notice it. And again, I know somebody watching this video and want to be hating and saying, man, I did that and my looks healthy. Let me tell you why your locks are healthy. Because you have healthy and you have strong hair. There's some people. That's like the pr some people they can eat anything they want, and we always have that friend that you just can't stand because she could eat a whole foot on an ox and not gain a pound, and then you eat one little rice cake and the next morning you wake up with a double chin. Right? <laughs> you know that. <laughs> my 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 sister is like that. She's like really tiny. I'm like, man, how are you always that size? So that is why some people could do whatever. You pour cement on their hair, they bounce back. And then there are some people who the slightest thing done wrong to them, it could affect their hair, all right? So that's why I say sometimes my video, mean, it's not sometimes, all the time my video is not for everyone, all right? So you definitely want to do two strands. And this is what the comb did already to his hair. 
See how this is happening? See how these look like they're ready to pop? I actually have to join it. You guys seeing it right there? Is it showing properly, uh, Marie? Mm -hmm. You seeing it right? You could come up. You guys seeing that? This was done with a comb, with, with comb cord. So everybody know the front part here is the, you know, the texture a little different. It's fine for some people, even though he has beautiful coarse hair, right? So yeah, look how it's just unraveling. And they're still seeing, even though Jimmy gave him a detox, they're still seeing the buildup and stuff coming up, coming out of his hair. Another thing too that was happening to this young man, just off topic, but it's part of the topic. When he came, he had horrible dandruff, right? He already know I talked to him about changing his diet because your diet effect could give you dandruff. I'll do that in another video. But when they do the comb call and they put the gel, they put you on the dryers. So if you have a dandruff problem or a dry scalp problem, that is going to make it worse. All right? That is why you want to go with two strand. If you want to start your locks the healthy way, that's what this video is about, putting all the talk aside. You want to start the healthy way with all the gel, waxes, creams. What am I missing? Um, souffles. Yeah, this, they put souffle. And anything creamy or... You don't need that, all right? For those things to hold after they do the, the twist and the pull and the, the thing and the, all that, <laughs> they're going to put you under a dryer. And with here, this thick, I know they had you under a dryer for like a minute, right? You pull it, right? Poor guy. Huh? A poor thing. <laughs> it's all very soft. Okay? Um, luckily, his mother said, as soon as my clients come, I get started right away. And it's until I start doing their hair, I'm like, shit, I should have done a before video. When he came, his locks were like, I didn't know it was this length until after Jimmy gave him the detox and the antifungal wash to get rid of the dandruff. His locks were like this length when he came to the wall up here. Luckily, his mother sent me a picture, so I'm going to show the picture that he took last Sunday so you guys can see what his hair look like. All right, in the back here is where I started, so this is where the length came in. And now with this, I like gel. I can pass my hand through it. I'm not roughing him up for those of you who think I'm rough. I'm actually very gentle. He's enjoying this little massage here right it's not looking it still has some build up from the um not build up sorry uh, what do i call this thing um lint from where the gel and stuff that was put in is here trap lint so that would take a while to go there. but right now the hair is very healthy and i will show this is what he wants see beautiful healthy head of here luckily his mother told him stop doing all of that i'm going to take you to yagi so hopefully he stays a client i know his mommy not going nowhere right and they don't see me that often and hopefully a year from now god willing i am going to show you guys what his hair is going to look like because this year goes very fast all right um i'm going to show you the after video and after pick thanks for watching guys okay guys i'm back a little bit of water um so it's done it's you guys see it again i'm not a loctician you guys know this my the people who know me personally knows that my work is about the health of hair i know some people will look at this and think it's not done it's done <laughs> all right um and like most people i that's the rastafarian growing up rasta in the rastafarian culture in me we're not about neatness it's about having hair on your head so again if you're starting locks just to recap if you want to do the health way box braids or plaques, whichever one you want to call it, or two strand twists. You don't need gel. You don't need any of that. Just two strand twists here. All right. Um, another thing too, a lot of people, their locks start up nice and fat. So when they get it done, somebody is going to come with the scissors and they call it pruning. And I've done this in many videos. First of all, that statement or that word do not apply to locks. Look up the meaning of the word prune and you're going to see a special type of scissors called a pruning shears. It is done for roses and rose gardens. Your hair is not a rose garden. So you cannot logically prune locks when somebody say oh let me prune your hair they're basically trimming your fuzzies and if it's somebody with short hair like his that looks nice and full by the time it gets long it becomes thinner and thinner because every time you go get it done snippity snip 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 you do not ever want this near your hair this is for me to cut thread with or to cut bags open when i'm or cut the top of, of applicator bottles when i'm putting in color that's what i use that scissors for it never goes in a client's hair all right um, again, no dryers turn this way, right? You good? Sorry, monkey. He stepped on you. <laughs> right. No dryers, okay? Because what the dryer does, it also shrinks the hair. Like, shake your hair. He couldn't even do that when he came. The mother is in shock. She's like, wow, you could move it, right? <laughs> like, it could move. It was just stiff, you know? And um, I think, am I missing anything in this conversation, in this post? See how nice it looks? 
all right um just stop doing the most i know somebody is going to ask as i said this in the previous video if you want to dry oh gee, dog i'm doing a video quit it <laughs> Just use a towel to dry your hair. Avoid dryers. That's how, see, it's right here. I have a bunch of these, right? That's how hair is dry. Don't overthink it. Just use a towel, a normal towel, all right? Not a t-shirt, not a towel. I'm sorry, not a t sorry, my dog. Not a t-shirt, not a towel, <laughs> okay? Um, and that's it. You know, I'm looking forward to a year from now. I'm going to do an update on this video. Could I turn here and make it see your handsome face? Okay, this is him. Blue, would you move so I could turn the chair? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. My dog is like, okay, let's turn it. So the dog refuses. <laughs> she is so disrespectful. There we go. All right. Yeah, let's ignore her. Okay. So, see? Um, another thing, too, I don't pull hair lines. This hair line, you know, from her getting done with the comb and all of that. It's, you can see where it break. So, when this grows up, that's when I'm going to get the front part a lot neater. All right, I'm not focused on neatness right now. I just wanted to let Jimmy give him a detox to get all that gel and hardness and give him an antifungal to get the, the dandruff out. And as you see it grows, you guys saw Will, Will who I did the video with, those of you who've been watching me for a while, you see Will started off at this length. And I always use Will as an example. He says, though he's back now. Will here looks fuzzy and disrespectful just like this. And look what Will here looks like now. Okay, so if you don't know who Will is, go back. You're gonna see a video we did a little skit the other day called um, "Will owes me almost three thousand dollars." Go click on that. Enjoy the skits; it's for fun, and you're gonna see what Will here looks like. Will started off just like him six years ago, and he's been with me wow. since. Yeah, when I met Will, Will was his age, 21. Will is 27 now, 26, 27. That's how long we've known each other. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you some before and after pictures. Thanks for your support. Don't forget to subscribe, press like, do whatever you want. Talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Yeah, your hair look amazing. Look good, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so this picture was sent to me um, a week before he came to see me. Um, he was using gel, as I said. He was going under dryers and notice how short it is. You can't see it, but it had a lot of flakes making his dandruff worse from going under dryers. And it also shrinks the locks, okay? Um, and now let's look at his after photos.